Good morning. Sylvie's here. Rolls here. Well. here. I believe that was Commissioners Holzman and Roop. That's correct. Good morning, gentlemen. It is snowing here in J Town this morning. It's coming down here in St. Charles County. Is it snowing in KC, Jason? Uh, no, it did. It did like early morning and put about an inch on the ground, but it's not snowing right now. I'd say we're somewhere between one and two inches at the moment. Looks like it's lightening up though. Bill is online. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, sir. So, Mr. Coleman is here. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So, Commissioner Kenny, is this going to be a generational Super Bowl? A generational Super Bowl. But it's one that I uh, called six months ago. Um, I actually called it before uh, Tony Rimmo, uh, but only because I thought it would be the greatest um, played drama of Super Bowl history. Definitely excited for it. I mean, you got the goat and then you got the little ram coming up to take the goat's place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, think of the story. I mean, you get to get the greatest quarter, winning quarterback in history, goes to another team and takes him to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody pointed out that after the Super Bowl, Mahomes will have played in as many Super Bowls as Breeze, Rogers, and Rivers combined. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You know, he's the, such a talent, but it just, it, you know, it's, it's got something with Andy Reid. What did he take? Uh, um, three teams, three teams or four teams to the championship with Philly? Yeah, three, at least three, because they were in a row. But yeah, all right, well, it's now come together. Yeah. and we are, yeah. It's 10.15, we're in the break from a hearing, so we will go ahead and try to knock this out as quickly as possible. Um, all commissioners are in attendance, so we will call the agenda meeting to order. Due to COVID-19, the commission will continue conducting agendas via WebEx for the foreseeable future. Uh, I do ask those participating, please mute your phone unless you need to speak. First order of business is to approve the minutes from January 20th. Uh, you all have seen those. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes of January 20th, say aye. Aye. Oh, am I still connected? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, Commissioner Coleman, I didn't hear you. All right, those minutes are approved. Um, Thank you, Great. Can you hear me now? At least. Can you hear me? I, I can, I I can hear you. Am I breaking up? up? Can, yeah. The yeah. yeah. well, chairman's breaking up. Okay, hold on. Can you all hear me now? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. I believe those minutes are approved five to zero. Um, we're gonna pull the second order on agenda, uh, which is file number GE 2020-0373. Um, I know that Spire had filed a request about a week ago, uh, wanting an order by the end of this month, but staff has indicated that it needs more time to review the request. And I think it's important that staff be given plenty of time to review the requested documents and prepare for its recommendations. Uh, given the subject matter of that order. So that will be pulled today. Um, and we will have one item on closed litigation at the end of agenda. 
So that brings us to tariffs and new orders. First up is file number GE 2020-0297. This is in the matter of a waiver of commission rule 20 CSR 4240-40.030 sub 12 sub S for all Missouri natural gas distribution companies and municipal gas distribution companies. So this order grants staff's request to extend until March 31st, 2021, the previously granted waiver of the commission's rule requiring certain visual inspections of customer gas piping. Uh, where there are documented concerns of customers refusing entry of gas service technicians due to COVID concerns, uh, the waiver conditions allow the service technician to not perform the visual inspection so long as other additional safety actions are taken, uh, which include providing customers uh, requesting meters to be turned on with safety information, such as numbers to call with meter questions and what to do if they smell gas, uh, weekly odorant intensity tests, et cetera. Um, staff initially requested this waiver last March and has requested extensions as the COVID pandemic has continued. Uh, notice was provided and no party opposed the request. So I support this order. Um, version one commissioner kenny i support the waiver uh commissioner Roop, i am supporting as well commissioner coleman i'm in support and commissioner holzman i support the order all right all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye aye, aye. that order is approved Five to zero. Um, I'm going to try to switch something and see if this helps. Give me just one second. Okay, well, let's continue. Um, next up is file number EO 2020-0262. This is in the matter of the ninth prudence review of costs subject to the commission approved fuel adjustment clause of Evergy Missouri West Inc. DBA Evergy Missouri West. Uh, this order approves a unanimous stipulation and agreement submitted by Evergy staff, public council and Sierra club that resolves the issues concerning self commitment. Um, Evergy agrees to retain certain records concerning the environmental or engineering reasons and uh, generate a net margin analysis when self committing generating units. So I support this uh, order version one. Commissioner Kenny? I am in support. Commissioner Roop? I am in support. Commissioner Coleman? I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one, say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file number WF 2020-0131. This is in the matter of the application of Raytown Water Company for an order authorizing issuance of preferred stock. Uh, Raytown Water Company is requesting a financing authority to issue up to $5 million in preferred stock. Uh, the company plans to use the proceeds for the construction of new water main valves and fire hydrants. Staff recommended the application be approved subject to certain conditions. Public Council filed a response stating that it does not oppose the application, but requested the company be required to exercise due diligence when considering options to refinance and provide semi-annual reports. Uh, Raytown has agreed to Public Council's term. Uh, the finding the listed use for the debt to be consistent with those described in statute. This order authorizes the financing subject to the conditions recommended by staff and public council. Uh, and I support this order version two. Commissioner Kinney. I support the order. Commissioner Root. I am in support. Commissioner Coleman. I support the order. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the order version two say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Next up, file numbers EU 2021-0027 and GU 2021-0112. Uh, 
this is in the matter of the application of Union Electric Company, DBA Amherst, Missouri, for an accounting authority order to record and preserve net costs and revenues related to COVID-19. So this order just establishes a procedural schedule for the two cases, uh, including a joint hearing to be held on May 12th through 14th. Um, so I support this order as drafted version one. Commissioner Kenny? I am supporting the order. Commissioner Roop? I am supporting the order as well. Commissioner Coleman? I'm in support. And Commissioner Holzman? I support the order. All right, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. Final order today is file number GO 2021-0126. This is in the matter of the application of Spire Missouri Inc. DBA Spire for approval to establish an on-bill financing program and cost recovery mechanism. So a joint status report was filed by Spire staff and public counsel indicating the parties needed additional time in this matter. So this order further suspends the tariff sheets submitted by Spire last October until March 29th. Uh, I support this order as drafted version one. Commissioner Kenney. I support the order. Thank you, Commissioner Roop. As do I. Commissioner Coleman. As do I. And Commissioner Holzman. I support the order. Okay, all those in favor of approving the order as drafted version one say aye. 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 That order is approved five to zero. That concludes reports and orders today. Um, we do have one short case discussion, uh, no actual issues to decide, but uh, Judge Jacobs wants to give us an update on file number WR 2021 Uh This is the Carl R. Mills pre-hearing memo. Judge Jacobs. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just wanted to remind the commission that there is a virtual local public hearing set in a small system rate case um, concerning uh, Carl Richard Mills. That's a water system that's run by an individual. It serves about seven customers. That hearing is going to be taking place at 6 p.m. on February 2nd. The memo provides the, con the uh, connection information for you and also um, highlights as many of the issues that were um, that I could identify at this point in the process. So just let me know if you have any questions and I will be pulling your offices to see what commissioners may be available for that hearing on the second. Thanks a lot. Okay, is, is any commissioner have a question for the judge at this time? All right, hearing none, thank you, judge. Uh, that concludes case discussion. As I mentioned, we do have a closed litigation item that we will get to um, right after we discuss scheduling. Um, today, we are in the middle of an evidentiary hearing in EO 2020-0262. This is Evergy's ninth prudence review of FAC costs um, that began at 9 a.m. via WebEx with Judge DePel. We'll continue um, after we are done with agenda. Thursday, January 28th, we have an evidentiary hearing in EO 2020-0262. That will be the continuation of this hearing, should we need it, uh, via WebEx, um, 9 a.m., Judge DePel presiding. Friday, January 29th, we have a local public hearing in 2020-0344. This is Missouri American Water Company's general rate case. Uh, that will be via WebEx, Judge DePel. That will be noon for Branson and Joplin. Tuesday, February 2nd, we have a local public hearing in WR 2021-0177. That's the Carl Richard Mills local public hearing we just heard about. That will be via WebEx at 6 p.m. with Judge Jacobs. Wednesday, February 3rd, we have agenda at 10.15 a.m., uh, followed by a USB meeting. Thursday, February 4th through Thursday, February 11th is the Nehruk Policy Summit, which will be virtual. Wednesday, February 10th, agenda at 10.15 a.m. Wednesday, February 17th, agenda at 10.15 a.m. Monday, February 22nd through Friday, March 5th, we have an evidentiary hearing in WR 2020-0344. That is the Missouri American Water uh, Company's request for authority to implement a general rate increase uh, for water and sewer service. That will be via WebEx at 9 a.m. with Judge DePel presiding. Wednesday, February 24th, agenda at 10.15 a.m. Wednesday, March 3rd, agenda at 10.15 a.m. That gets us out for uh, about 30 days. Are there any questions, comments, or requests regarding scheduling? 
Okay, hearing none, um, that brings us to um, closed session. Um, we will need to go into closed session under 610.021 sub 1 RISMO. Um, that is for the discussion of litigation. Um, I will move to take us into closed session. Any seconds? Seconded by Commissioner Kinney. Is there any discussion? All right, hearing none, all those in favor of going into closed session under 610.021 sub 1 and adjourning immediately after, say aye. 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 That motion is approved 5 to 0. Commissioners, you have been sent a link for where the closed session will 